Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So a couple videos ago, we talked about keyframes. We talked about moving images, moving pictures using keyframes. In this video, I want to talk about my best friend, the video animation editor. So we've got our clip right here. This is the same clip we've been using. How do we pull up our video animation editor? You can either do right click and show video animation, or you could do the keyboard shortcut. And that's what I like to do. So control V. Now here's your defaults. By default, you have transform, trim, distort, and composition, compositing, which is opacity. Uh, these show up by default, but what I wanna focus on is our transform. Now look at this right here. This is each one of our keyframes in a linear fashion. This was our first, this was our second, this was our third, fourth, fifth, and so forth. And you wanna make sure you're definitely like zoomed in on this. So I'm gonna do command plus just like that. And that's it. So I can look at my keyframes and I can look at each individual frame to determine how fast or slow I want a keyframe to be to create an animation or effect. So I can grab this and you can just drag it. So if I want it to be super fast, this Freddy that chops up my face, let's bring these all in right here. You can do left and right arrows on the keyboard just to see your frame rate. See your, I'm sorry, to see each individual frame. I believe we're set to 29. No, we're at 60 frames per second. You can go back and forth, see that 45 all the way up. So if you really want to have a fast animation, this really helps out. Let's pull this in just like that. So this is going to be pretty fast. Let's go ahead and play it. I like it. You want it to be faster? Pull these closer together. Do, do, do and you're slowly kind of seeing how people create animations in Final Cut Pro X. You know, you see like the lightsaber one, that was a big one a couple of years ago. People just keep transforming it and, okay, let's play this right here. I like it. Uh, and if you do want me to make a lightsaber tutorial, go ahead and post it in the comment section below and we'll get onto it. And if you want to delete keyframes, just click on the one and hit delete or backspace. If you want to create a keyframe, just go ahead and get back to your transform tool. There we go. Let's go ahead and here, keep grabbing this. We've got our transform tool highlighted right there. You can see it in the blue. And that's kind of the gist. Um, why do these have one diamond and these have two? Anytime you just do one effect to a parameter, um, it's going to have one. Anytime you do more than one effect to a parameter, it's going to have two. What does that mean? Okay. so. Anytime you just mess with one parameter, like right now we're just messing with the position, it's gonna be one. Anytime you have more than one, it's gonna be two, which just is kind of a point of reference. You can see like, where did I scale? Where did I crop? Where did I rotate? So let's go ahead and create a keyframe that messes with two attributes or more. So let's go ahead and grab this and I will rotate it. No, we'll scale it up and let's go ahead and rotate it over here just like that. See, it went from one to two because we messed with three things. We scaled it up, you know, we didn't even really move it and now we're gonna move it. So just like that. So it's got more than one. So we would have two diamonds right there. All right, so hopefully this video helps you guys get better at keyframing in Final Cut Pro 10.